So I guess YouTube is cautioning creators against burnout. And I think that's a little, a little disingenuous as the Penny Arcade summed it up. Creators, you're feeling burned out because you are light bulbs and there are always more light bulbs. You create young energetic light bulbs every time you make a video. Good educational content is distinct from aspirational content. Educational content is there to transmit information, to help people gain skills. I'm thinking of things like Complexly and SciShow, public radio. My job as a chemistry professor is not to create more chemistry professors per se, though of course some might go on to that. Mostly my job is to create more chemists, people who can learn chemistry skills and go on to create value in their jobs as chemists. Good aspirational content is different. It's designed to produce more aspirational content creators. Watching it, you think, or are meant to think, I could do that. I could make aspirational content videos. Mostly, I'm going to get that skill by watching more aspirational content. It's a self-reinforcing pyramid scheme shaped process. The second problem with aspirational content on YouTube in particular and social media in general is that it's not a fair portrayal of the lives of the people who are making this aspirational content. To make it sell, they restrict the slice of life they allow on the screen. To make it adventurous and fun. To make people want what they have. It's advertising for itself, and so it is not a well-balanced look at what the process is like. Achievable, enjoyable lifestyles don't necessarily require a great deal of money, but they're not an adventure. They require things like care and nourishing, maintenance, cleaning. These are not easy to monetize. They are not easy to uh, replicate and automate, but they have huge value. You might call it social capital. So, so I lived with roommates for a lot of my 20s. When I was living with roommates, none of us really had these skills. Uh, we were not good at cleaning and maintaining. We were not good at repairing and nurturing. If I had lived with people who had those skills, and if I'd had those skills, I can imagine how much nicer our lives would have been. Now, we could have had a time together where we'd had lots of fun, even though we didn't have lots of money, and we'd lived in a pleasant environment, even though we couldn't afford to live separately. You know, living separately, we could barely afford a studio apartment in Ramen, but living together in one house, a little crowded, we had the money to spend on things that were a little more fun, like ticket to a concert or cheap beer. It broke down ultimately because none of us wanted to do the work of cleaning and maintaining, repairing relationships and the environment we were in. And as a consequence, uh, we lost that sustaining relationship. Aspirational content is never going to portray that well because aspirational content needs adventure and novelty and cleaning, maintaining, and repairing are not an adventure. Those things are repetitive. They're boring to watch. They make a poor subject for viral marketing, despite the fact that they are extremely valuable.